Excellent. I'm Merit. 90. 108. You've got your super challenge questions as well. Excellent. Positive behaviour. Write it down. The perimeter on the outside. Thank you. We need a range of techniques to keep our children, with all their different needs, fully engaged throughout the day. At Hunslet Moor Primary School in Leeds, Hannah Matthews has developed some snappy games and activities which keep her children focused and their self-confidence high. We're going to start off this morning by thinking about how we can be in it to win it. But if your name's not in the box and you can't win a prize, you've got to be... In it to win it! Brilliant. My In It To Win It box came to me to try and get children engaged and to try and get them on task and wanting, you know, giving them a prize at the end of it, giving them something to work towards. Give me ten different ways that you could impress myself or Mrs Priest this morning to be In It To Win It. Don't shout out. Brilliant, not shouting out. Be responsible for your own learning. Being responsible for your own learning. Try your best and never give up. Trying your best and never giving up. Put your hands up if you're going to be in it to win it today. There are quite a few children on the special needs register as there's quite a few needy children as well um, that find it very difficult to work independently. OK, my main monitor for numeracy is going to be... I'm going to choose Zahin. Very sensible over there, Zahin. The name monitor is picked at the beginning of the lesson and their job is to listen out to names that I give them that I've spotted that are doing something that are impressing me. In it to win it goes Matin, excellent, because he's been listening carefully, he's been trying very hard, he's been sitting sensibly as well on his seat, brilliant. They can write their names on pieces of paper and put them in it to win it box. Kanisha, I love the way that you're listening carefully. You're in it to win it. Thank you, Zahin. Can you give me a drum roll, please? And our winner this morning is... Kanisha! Come and get your prize. The games enable my teaching to be fast and pacey, which also encourages them to stay on task. You have got two minutes to play. Can you come quietly with each other? Off you go. Ping pong I use um, not just in numeracy but you can also use it in literacy as well. It's a very quick game, so they play it in pairs and each person takes it in turn like today we were doing it on times tables. Three times two. Six. Sometimes five. They can do it so that they're counting in the number so they have to ping-pong from each other. It's good for bringing children back round and getting them focused again. OK, so I've written the very beginning of this non-fiction text. Talking partner challenges. Think about what the next sentence could be. Go. Or maybe she might write some... Talking partners is something that I use a lot in all my lessons, really, across the board. It's a great way for children to talk to each other and get their answers out. What I usually do is use talking partners first and then we share with the class, because the, then that way children can also magpie ideas from other people. Anderson, what do you think then our next sentence should be? It might be... Um... 8% Ollie just we recycle. So are we, are we going to hit them with a fact? Yeah. If they don't have any ideas themselves, if they've heard their partner talking about ideas, and they can use those as well. So it gives those children that aren't as confident to talk a little bit more confidence. Who would you like to challenge Megan to doubles? Hmm. Doubles Jewel. I'm going to pick... Hamza. Hamza. Jewel is a game that I usually play at the beginning of a numeracy lesson. It's a great way to do things like times tables um, or number bonds. It's one pupil against another pupil and they have to be the quickest person to answer a question. Ready? First double is... 13. Um... um 16! Um, um, Double 26! 30. Well done, Hamza. Um, How did you work it out? I um, doubled two tens and I doubled two threes. Brilliant, so you, you partitioned it, did you? Fantastic, excellent. Yeah. Who else did that? Put your hands up if you did that as well. Fantastic, okay. The winner from that jewel stays on and then they can then challenge the next jewel person to come up. Nine. Um, eight, eight, eighteen. Ooh, 
brilliant. Well All pupils really enjoy this game. It's a great way to challenge them. And not only for those two children that are standing up, but also other children can join in as well. And then the pupil who was standing up for the most time is the winner. Brilliant. All pupils, I think, from different abilities respond well to those sorts of games because they're quick, they're fast, they're competitive. You have to be thinking all the time. So it's a good way to get children on task and thinking quickly.